Chapter Twenty Three: Square Candy's Velvet Crown. Everybody stopped and crowded to the door. The top half of the door was made of glass. Grandpa Joe lifted Charlie up so that he could get a better view. And looking in, Charlie saw a long table, and on the table there were rows and rows of small white square-shaped candies. The candies looked very much like square sugar lumps, except that each of them had a little, a funny little pink face painted on one side. At the end of the table, a number of Oompa Loompas were busily painting more faces on more candies. There you are! cried Mr. Wonka. Square candies that look round. They don't look round to me," said Mike TV. "They look square," said Ver Verica Salt. "They look completely square, but they are square, Mister Wonka. I never said they weren't. You said that they were round," said Verica Salt. "I never said anything of the sort," said Mister Wonka. "I said they looked round, but they don't look round," said Verica Salt. "They look square." They look round," insisted Mister Wonka. "They most certainly do not look round," cried Verica Salt. "Verica, darling," said Mrs. Salt, "pay no attention to Mister Wonka. He's lying to you." "My dear old fish," said Mister Wonka, "go and boil your head." "How dare you speak to me like that?" shouted Mrs. Salt. "Oh, do shut up," said Mister Wonka. "Now watch this." He took a key from his pocket and unlocked the door and flung it open, and suddenly. At the sound of the door opening, all the rows and rows of little square candies looked quickly round to see who was coming in. The tiny faces actually turned toward the door and stared at Mr. Wonka. "There you are!" he cried triumph triumphantly. "They're looking round. There's no argument about it. They are square candies that look round." "By golly, he's right!" said Grandpa Joe. Come on," said Mr. Wonka, staring off down the corridor again. "On we go. We must dawdle, butterscotch and buttergin." It said on the next door they passed. "Now that's a little bit more interested," said Mrs. Salt, Mr. Salt, Virka's father. "Glorious stuff," said Mr. Wonka. "The Oompa Loompas all adore it. It makes them tiddly. Listen, you can hear them in there now, whooping it up. Shrieks of laughter and snatches of singing could be heard coming through the closed door." They're drunk as lords," said Mr. Wonka. "They're drinking butterscotch and soda. They like they like that best of all. Butter gin and tonic is also very popular. Follow me, please. We really mustn't keep stopping like this." He turned left. He turned right. Then came to a long flight of stairs. Mr. Wonka slid down the banisters. The three children did the same. Mrs. Salt and Mrs. Tv, the only woman now left in the party, were getting very out of breath. Mrs. Salt was a great fat creature with short legs, and she was blowing like a rhinoceros. This way! cried Mr. Wonka, turning left at the bottom of the stairs. Go slower! Pounded Mrs. Salt. Impossible! said Mr. Wonka. We should never get there in time if I did. Get where? asked Virgo Salt. Never, never you mind! said Mr. Wonka. You just wait and see.